Okay, so we have here some one, two, three, four these screws, Y screws, and I have here this Phillips one, and here as well. So in total, since four screws, uh, Phillips, and four um, these uh, Y. Okay, so all of them are out. Now let's see if we can start to pry. Pry it in here. I guess fingernails is enough. Yeah, seems is enough. Anyway, I have here this kind of tool. So I don't want to use the fingernails. Maybe this is a good option. Okay, so it came out. Okay, so the issue here was in the top, it was I think here the buttons. Okay, so at least they are connected. I think it is it's over here like that. Okay, so okay, so the person was really really messing with that. You can see over here all this metal is bent and this ribbon cable as well. Uh, hopefully, okay, okay, let's take this. The shield, the shield, I think, I think, I think, uh, have here a screw and over there, one, two. I'm not sure if there's anything more. And okay, this one here as well should be a screw. Maybe you cannot see it, but it should be. So we'll need to force this somehow. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so we can see over here the person that was kind of trying to, to dig it in here, so this is not not good. It's actually this one is almost breaking. I can feel it when I'm moving it a little bit and then it starts here already to break. So probably we'll need to then to try to put all of this straight later on. The thermal paste. Okay, let's continue. So we have the battery, and actually, when I was trying to pry it in here, the battery he did something because it doesn't look so straight. Maybe you can see some plastic is broken if you can see. 
you can see, see this part here is straight and then here goes to the bottom. So not good, not good what this guy was doing. Okay then careful of doing here something because not good to play with the with battery. Okay, so what we can continue to do here, maybe to disassemble the rest of it. Um, here are the buttons itself. So we will need to take them, take them off. Let me, meanwhile, here's some thermal paste. Let's clean all of this because I don't want to mess it. Um, okay, so it's a bit a bit clean. Uh, let's continue. Have here the fan and the these screws that old. Here this uh, this pipe. Let's take the. Maybe I'll take first actually the these ones because I'm always I know actually this is the the joysticks that's why it's not straight I thought it would be these ones okay let's continue with, then with the fan. Okay, so we have the fan out. Here's some more. The Okay, so let's continue. Probably we need to disassemble everything here to be able to take out the the screen. So let's continue. I did with the time filming because I never took one apart, so I will be able to remember where more or less everything goes if I forget. Let's go to there. This flap. This flaps. And we can take them out. Okay. Here we have another one. I don't know. To what it does exactly. Okay, probably only to take here is the sound. Uh, ports. Okay, let's put all these over here. Okay, so since it's just holding here on this one and this one, these two over here, since it's if I want to open it inside so since we don't want don't want to open it it's just let's, just let's take this one okay. 
you can see this is a yellow one which actually it's longer than than the other one over here you see longer than the other okay, so. Oh, actually, this one as well is for the for the box itself inside. So this one will will not need to take it. So let's put it in the And here we have this table. Hopefully, I'll be able to take it. Not sure. Can I pull it out? I need to wiggle it. I'm afraid of it. I'm afraid of taking it out. As you can see, we have here. Yes, it should come out. Let's see if we have here some kind of fridge. I don't know if I'm going to break it. So I'm going to be careful with this. Okay, I just need to push it a bit uh, stronger. Pull it actually a bit stronger. Let's open it here. The, this one and see if uh, because I think only here, only here we have the speaker. So here it's just some channel, empty channel that uh, doesn't have anything but the sound pushes to the side. Yeah, exactly. So it was what I thought. Actually, it sound goes on both ways. This side here and this side as well. The sound goes over there. Okay, so one and here is another as well. Have here probably a long one. I see these yellow. These yellow ones are long. Okay, but. This is under, so I will not be able to take it. No problem. Take the first board, and only then I could take it better to take maybe the board first. Okay. So we have here the memory card. Not sure if we need to take it out. Probably we need to take it out first. We have the jack, but yeah, probably we'll need to take it out for sure. These these buttons. Uh, I wonder if I need to take them out. Probably I need because here the board goes under under them. This side because this is not split. This one this one actually is. So this we can we could replace this one. No, so let's take this out. Uh, so yeah, exactly. We will need to take take it out, and here this one probably we will need to take it out as well because we will not be able to to then pull this the board itself. We have here some ribbon cable that connects the jack into the <coughs> into the card. Yep, but now we need to take as well this one. Okay, 
I have four screws here, one, two, three, four. Good that they seem all the same size. Okay, so the battery, the battery stopped. So I was taking off this, this ribbon cable. Here you can see that everything here is broken. Uh, and this is some kind of metal here actually. So this is not something that we could, we could glue. Uh, I took here this one, the, the, the card reader and the jack, it's over here, I have here four screws, one, two, three, four, and over here three of them, and then here the ribbon cable goes over here. Now I think we can try to take the board out. See there is one screw here, one, uh, two, three, at least this side, I'm not sure how this is, I see that I, we have here as well these two screws, but I think they are just for the, for the USB port itself, see over here. And another one, but I think it's just for the USB. Okay, what we can try to do is to, is to take out those screws and see if we can take Here we have the ribbon cable. We want to be careful with this one. Should it come up? I think it should. Okay, it comes up. That's, that's it. From this side, we need to take here the the sound plug as well if I manage okay and now since the board here is here you can come a bit can come a bit up we can try to take this out okay all good so here we go and then 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 we should have some more screws. I wonder maybe this actually needs to come off. Because I don't see any more screws. Everywhere seems it wants to come out, but here it doesn't. Let's try to take this out and see. Yep, actually we needed to take out these ones as well and here we have the other ribbon cable. Okay, let's pull it up one side and over here and the other. Okay, good. And we have here another one. Okay, and here it is in the battery itself. So here I think we have here on this side. Just come up, I'm not sure. I think it should be. Yep, it was. <laughs> I just flip it and push it. Okay, so 
here we have the board so so let's put it here to the side because i don't need it for now and here we have this white table this is i'm not sure what it is for no idea at all i'll take it out because it's not that straight so i want to put it straight as well So, what more we can do? Probably we'll need to take all this part. I'm not sure if it will come together with the battery or not. But we can try. Because this, this part here seems that it has screw here, 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 and here. I'm not sure if there is anything more to this side. Maybe there is. Mm -hmm. Not sure, not sure, but might be. So let's try to take, take this side and see. Then I'll his this. Actually, this one is a long one. Does it come out? Probably it was under here somehow. Let me check. Yeah, probably yes. So let me. We'll have to take this side as well. Let's do it here. Here, quite a few screws. One, two, three, four. This top part probably needs to come out as well. Let's disconnect first these cables. And these yellow ones are the big ones. Yes. These ones are long ones as well. Yep, it comes out. So yes, so this board was fixed over here. Like that. Okay, so we took this out. And now here we have the screen. And I can see if I can use it. Probably not. Because it's too it's too big.
Okay, so we're able to take almost all of it, and here on this side we have here some uh, some glue. So we need to be more careful, or at least maybe I will try to bring the uh, the the the. Um, Uh, actually, it's not needed. I was thinking, I was thinking to bring the hair dryer to be able to heat it a bit. Of course, if it's better because over here this is the digi digitizer, and of course they don't want to break the digitizer. But a bit by bit, see, it comes out. Okay, so we have the screen out. As well, we have here the joysticks, so we can take them, take them out. Just a couple of screws over here, and two more over here. And uh, that's it. Here we have the as well taking off the the joysticks. And lastly, we have here the digi digitizer, which is just glued here. So can be depends how you want how you want to do it. Uh, we can we can just push it out because it should come out all the way so if you see over here if you push it push it in here in this side just you can push a bit and you can see that it starts to want to pop out then you just need to put this for example this plug here and slide all around and it should should come out it can come out like this so it can and go all around let's go all around and it should come out and this part probably just bend it like this and that sh should be it and that's it we have now the digitizer out so i hope it helps everyone uh, that uh, all of this is taking apart so if you like this video please like and subscribe it will help me a lot so thank you and see you later <music>